Welcome to another episode of Jason Creative. Today we are going to look at some of the basics in regards to UV mapping. Now I decided to do a Christmas tree UV map so I'm going to show you what I've already set up, show you what I've already done. So this is only a rough preview of the artwork that I've already created and if I go into material show you what that preview looks like now before we do anything else I just want you to know that I initially made some seams on my objects I'm just going to zoom in as you can tell I cut a seam I then selected the seam exported the UV into Critter and from there I played around with the material section and I added a texture, image texture for the black and white transparencies through the initial glossy shader and also added a texture to add in the to add in the uh, illustration that I want on overlapped and overlaid the original glossy shader attributes. So I created two lots of images, one a black and white image highlighting the different tonal factors of the glossy shader, uh, processing that through the factor section of the mix shader which is connected to the material output. And I also created an actual visual that I wanted to wrap around the sphere itself. So I imported that, changed some of the attributes of it, uh, added some additional shaders such as gamma and I then put that through one of the mix shader components then I put that through another mix shader and I played around with the factor settings and that created the material surface that I wanted. So I've added many attributes to, to this. I've added uh, two image texture nodes. I've also added a gamma node, a bright and, bright and contrast node, an invert node and I modeled them around to get the kind of effects that I wanted. So now I'm going to go straight into how to make your own UV map and how to manipulate it in Blender. I am going to exit wire mode, I am going to go straight into solid, exit, exit edit mode by pressing the tab key and I'm going to create a new UV sphere. So here's my sphere. Now clearly I'm not happy with it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit it, I'm going to press W and I'm going to go to subdivide smooth and then I'm going to exit edit mode, go into perspective mode and what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to plan to make a scene in this object here. So to do that you need to enter edit mode, go into wire mode so you see what you're doing, choose this edge select option with the vertice like so sorry, edge selection, so choose the edge selection tool rather than the face and the vertice tool, so go to the edge selection select a part of the wireframe that you want to edit and the easiest way to do that is to select a horizontal aspect of the wireframe using the alt and then click now what you need to do is get rid of any components that you don't want so now you've selected the components that you want you can now unwrap the sphere tool by pressing mark scene, deselecting and then pressing the unwrap tool. Now when you come to select the whole object, it doesn't work, so what you should really do is select the whole object by pressing A, then press the UV and then press the unwrap tool and there you have it, you have your unwrapped object. Now before I export it, <clears throat> you should really manipulate the object that you have, so I'm going to unselect and when you see this as being disabled you should really activate the proportional editing mode under the UV image editor so just to let you know that you can see your UV map creation using the UV editor mode and that will be below your 3D view your timeline graphic editor dot sheet NLL MLA editor and this is very useful when creating images 
around objects. And what I tend to do is I tend to select a portion of the object that I want to manipulate. I then enable the proportion editor and I manipulate the object quite how I imagined it to look. So I'm just going to do that again. Unfortunately, this is a slow process, so it's not something that can be done instantaneously. And this basically gives you a rough model. I mean, I could spend hours literally mucking around with this, and it would take me up to a day to create an object that I liked. Um, so I am just going to give you a rough demonstration on how to design something for yourself. So we've more or less got a kind of mesh that we want to export. So now we're, we've got the item that we want. I'm just going to save this file. I'm going to go to UV and I'm going to select export UV layout. Now before you export, change the opacity section to zero. So fill opacity at zero. And I would usually work at a much bigger file size, but for this demonstration, I'm just going to go for 1024 by 1024 pixels and the format is PNG. Go to export layout. Now we are going to open our critter document. So this is what we've called it. We called it UV material PNG. So now we have our map and how we can work within that. What we need to do now is create a skin within that. So we're going to... So now we need one for our black and white. So I've just put on the alpha lock for that one and I'm going to put an alpha lock for that one as well. I'm just going to highlight these as two different so this is going to be our black and white. So what I tend to do for the black and white component is I tend to colour the areas black where the glossy shader would bleed through and the other bits I would leave white so the image can bleed through and sometimes I would make nice like scratch effects so I'm doing this very quickly to give you an idea of what kind of visual effects you can create so please take into consideration this is all rough <clears throat> so that is the kind of scratch effects that I want to produce for that particular UV map and I might want to design some pattern effects so I'm going to colour this blue and I might want to create a few patterns so use my divider, use my symmetry tool and I'm going to use my gold pen. So now I'm happy with the way that looks <clears throat> I'm going to save this file as a critter file this UV Christmas and now I'm going to export each of the files as PNG so I'm going to save as interlacing store alpha channel transparency embedded RGB profile yes and I'm going to do the same for this illustration as well save as and this is going to be a white save now my images are saved I am going to go into critter again and I'm going to add a new material and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly snatch all these nodes and I'm just going to go control C and I'm going to delete these two and press control P and I'm going to change the files so I'm going to add this as a EW, change this file as well. If I go back to zero and I look through the camera lens, I can muck around with the image. And there you have your Christmas ball decoration. I hope you found this video informative. This is only part one. I will be going into more detail on how to utilize different components of the UV mapping options available in Blender. Just to let you know that I've really just basically started UV mapping. This is why it's not clear cut and not perfectly presented, but I just wanted to share this information to show you the kind of visual effects that you can generate using Blender, using Critter, and creating some pretty unique images which you then can export and manipulate further 
on a 2D illustration program. Thank you very much for watching. More material coming soon.